Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to get rid of some of the sample code that every project has just because it doesn't have anything to do with what we're working on. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio again and open up the uh, app we just created, the project we just created. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff in there that we really don't need. If uh, we expand this out in the WW root folder and then the CSS folder, they have Bootstrap an open iconic, which is kind of like a fun, awesome thing. In real life, you're welcome to keep them in there, use them all you want, but I'm just going to take them out of this particular app because I don't want the extra overhead. And now this site.css file is the style sheet for the whole site. And again, you could use those styles if you want to, but I'm just going to get rid of most of them. Now, when you get down toward the bottom here, there's a pound blazer error UI a couple of um, style rules with that name. That's for a, an error message that actually appears in the browser sometimes when you're doing your development work. So leave those in there for now. And then down near the bottom, there's a couple of media queries for different size screens. And you can leave the code in there. I mean, the blocks in there. We're going to take the code out. So anyway, that's CSS code for... Uh, you know, styling things. I'm not going to talk about that in this class. We're making a website, so obviously we'll need it, but I'm certainly not going to try to teach it. Um, and that's good for now. Um, we'll save that. And let's see what else do we have. Um, this is sample stuff. There's weather forecast stuff. You can delete that, both of those. Under pages, we don't need counter.razor. We don't need fetchdata.razor. The index.razor is actually the home page for the site. Now you can open that up and um, change its content if you want. Notice that the at page slash at the top, that identifies it as the home page. Of course, you can put any text you want underneath that. Um, we'll just put in a header and maybe a paragraph explaining what this page is so that when we see it in the browser, we know what we're looking at. All right, and close that up. Now in the shared folder, we need to keep main layout, but we don't need to keep all this code in here. Let's just trim this down to the bare minimum for now. So that nav menu tag means that's where the navigation menu is going to show. And then this big div here is the header and the body. Let's just uh, put the at body in main main tags. At body is where each page shows. What you're, this is really going to be is the uh, layout in terms of the header, footer, nav bar. For now, it'll just be the nav menu and the body. In nav menu dot razor here, we can take out everything. Again, just to keep our code to a bare minimum. And then instead of all that code they had there, we'll just put in a pair of nav tags and a link to the home page. And the link to the home page here is going to be slash. It's not the file name here. It's the app page name. And then home will be the text. Save that. And we can close that up. Um, what else do we got? We can close that up. Make sure you save. Don't need the style sheet open anymore. Uh, app settings, we don't have to change anything. Uh, startup, uh, let's get rid of using Blazor crud.data. And we dumped that weather forecast code, so we need to get rid of that. Whoops, get rid of that. And uh, that might be it. Uh, let's uh, see what happens. Um, looks pretty good. Close up and see. I'm not going to run build build solution to check my work and down here if I see bill one succeeded zero failed so far so good next I can run it by using the go button here might take a few seconds to get going especially the first time you do it and it opens up in a browser because it's a website and now we see the home link which goes nowhere since I'm already on the home page and then the text I put on that index.razor page so that's our starting point now. We got rid of all their samples and pretty much down to the bare minimum at this point. Okay, and next we need a SQL Server database to work with, and we'll get to that in the next lesson.
see you there.